Welcome to my get ready with me this week. I used um, some brushes this week that I hadn't used for ever. Um, I got them oh quite a while ago. I don't know if I ever hauled them, um, but I will show them to you. I got them from a company and I reviewed them. Um, I reviewed them and then I put them back in their cases and I hadn't used them since because I was a little afraid to basically. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's um, get started. Uh, I started today with my Fergie uh, BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Uh, it's SPF 15 color light. That's what I used. And I used um, a damp beauty bl blender this time, or Real Techniques beauty blender this time, and it worked awesome. Um, it covered what I wanted it to cover. You know, I don't have a ton of stuff to cover. Um, got some scars and stuff, but uh, I think it did a really good job. By the way, sorry about the hair. Um, you know, it's growing out. I got my perm. It's growing out. I actually trimmed my bangs today. I don't know how good I did, but they look a lot better to me. Um, they popped up a little bit, and they... Um, they're just not in my face and don't look so straggly like they did. And the top, um, I'm having a heck of a time with the top because it's all getting flat. And I just don't know how to handle it. Um, anybody that's had a perm, tell me what to do. I don't know how to curl my hair, so that's not going to be a good trick for me. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I started with this. Then I went to... Um, you know what I just thought? I forgot to put on mascara. So let's just do that right now. I'm using my Better Than Sex mascara. It's just a trial size. But I really do like it. I was so... I had a heck of a time with my brows and stuff this time. Um, it took me forever to do my brows. This eye that I'm doing right now, this brow, um, as most of you know that have watched me for a while, I was in a car accident when I was uh, eight, 18, I think, and went through a windshield. And so half of this eyebrow was shaved off. And so it does not grow in right anymore. I have scarring there, so it's not growing in, doesn't grow in very well. So I have a heck of a time. Um, and I don't like to use brow pencils on my eyes, but I'm going to have to figure something else out. Now, I used, I'll show you what I used here in a sec. And as usual, I forgot to curl my eyebrows, or eye, eyebrows, eyelashes again. There, that's a little better. I feel a little bit more normal. All right, so better than sex mascara. I love that stuff. Um, here's what I used on my brows. I used the Maybelline Brow Drama this time, and I just, I don't like it. Um, I will continue to use it, every once in a while, but I just really don't like it. Um, it's because of this wand. I just, I don't know what made them think that this was a good bra, good idea. I really don't. Um, anybody else have this and like it? I, you know, the only place that it really collects product is on the tip. And then it smears everywhere. For me. Uh, maybe I'm using it wrong. Anybody can give me any tips on this? I don't know. I, I just don't like it. It it also is very crunchy. Um, see this eyebrow? I, I went over it and over it and over it again. And I finally got it where I think it looks okay, but there's a lot of little dots in there, you know, um, that don't look right. If you were up close, you'd be able to see it, which I'm not going to show you because it just looks like shit. So anyway, um, 
I'm looking in the mirror here. <laughs> anyway, a Maybelline Brow Drama. I, I just, I just don't like it. But, like I said, I'll continue to use it every once in a while. Um, for eyeliner, I used my Punker Ardency In eyeliner this time for the first time. That's what it looks like. It's got like a felt tip applicator, which was okay. Um, it worked. I just don't like a lot of eyeliner on my top eye because it just seems to... I Because I've got such hooded eyes, it seems like it takes up too much room on my eyes. I don't know why. So I, I usually go over it once with eyeshadow so it doesn't look so stark on my eyes. Okay, oh, excuse me. And then today for my eyeshadow palette, I used the La Palette 1 or Nude 1 by L'Oreal. This is what it looks like. It is beautiful. I used um, this as, as the highlight um, underneath my brows and in the corner of my eyes. I used this all over my lid. I used... Wait, no, that's wrong. I used this all over my lid. Trying to see what I did. Yep, I used this all over my lid. It's the matte shade. And then I used this in my for my transition. And I used this on my lid. It's the gold. You guys know I like gold on my <laughs> lids. I don't know why. But anyway, that's what I did. And I also used a touch of this for uh, on my lower lid for contrast. Okay, for, so that was my eyes. Then I used for concealer, I used today for the first time the Clean Color Eyeshadow Primer. Oh, shit. <laughs> I used eyeshadow primer on my for as concealer today. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. It actually looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I don't know why I was thinking I got concealer. And this is eyeshadow primer. <laughs> oh, for... F oh. I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. But, actually, I think it worked pretty good <laughs> as a concealer. I, I really do. It, it, it went on very nicely. It um, blended out very nicely. It, you know... It, Concealers don't conceal anything for me. I don't know why I even use it. But it did brighten things up under there. So, <laughs> I guess it's your makeup. You can use it for whatever you want it to use, want to use it for. You don't have to use it for what it says it's for, right? I'm such an idiot. Okay. Going on. For blush, I use the Tarte uh, Shimmering Pink air blush it's called and this is what it looks like it is beautiful and it's a cream blush so I didn't use my regular blush brush um, I don't even know I think it looks pretty good I don't know um, for highlighter I use the wet n wild by Fergie and this is um, rose champagne glow and I love this stuff. I've used this quite a while. Okay, and for... Oh, powder. I used the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil all over my face. That's what that looks like. And this is in... It's um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil Light to Medium. So I used that. And for lipstick, I used my, my birthday present from Sephora, um, the NARS in, I don't even know what it is. Cruella is what it's called. And this is what it looks like. And uh, believe me when I tell you, this is all you get. What's showing is all the lipstick you get. This does not turn up. So it's just, they just give you a teaser of what their lipstick is like and it's absolutely beautiful 
It's beautiful. I just love it. So anyway, that is my makeup for the day. Oh, I wanted to show you these brushes, didn't I? Okay, the first one, which I did not use today, and I do not contour, so I don't know. I'll probably use this for highlight. It is the NARS contour brush. And I've been afraid to use this damn thing because, I don't know, I just I just have. But look at that. It's You can see through the bottom there. It's got, you know, it's where it's kind of just tied on the way it looks but it's so soft so soft okay the next brush which I did not use and this is a Smashbox foundation brush and I did not use that today I was going to and then I thought eh, I'm gonna use my beauty blender but it is Smashbox the only high-end br brushes I own so Okay, now these I'm not sure who they're from, but is it, just looking at it, is it Japanese, Japanesque, however you say that, because of the wrapping, because it looks kind of Chinese type, Japanese type stuff. And I'm assuming this is, I don't know, like a blush brush maybe, I don't know, but they're so soft. And then this one I used for my highlighter today just because of the tip but it's so cool look at that but there's no name on them anywhere so I don't know for sure where I got them this one here is um, this is smudge crease brush by Laura Mercier and I used both sides of this I used the little side here for my highlighter and my inner eye um, highlight and I, I actually use this for blending my eyeshadow. Okay, and then the last one is uh, Urban Decay. Um, and it's the Naked, Naked 3 brush. Which I used both of these for my eyeshadow today. Double ended. And that is it. Um, well, I use this for my face brush. This is my my love. This is my love. <laughs> I love this brush. Um, I love the Real Techniques uh, blush brush and the powder brushes, or the face brush, it's called. I absolutely, those are my two favorite brushes in my collection. And that is it for my Get Ready for, With Me. I have quite a few videos to do today again, so you will be seeing the same old, same old. So, um... I will see you in my next video. If you like this, get ready with me. Give me a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys very soon. Love you. Bye-bye.